morning and welcome to the great Dallas fix a -Leak Week Roundup. It all started with an idea about us using the resources we had and the programs that we already had in place to compete for the fix a -Leak Week media contest. Well, I'd, I'd like to begin on behalf of EPA by congratulating the City of Dallas and Dallas Water Utilities in particular on receiving this national distinction. There were 25 other WaterSense partners nationwide that competed with the City of Dallas to win a promotional campaign and support from EPA to kick off Fix a Leak Week. Dallas, you're number one. Well, Dallas has really made great strides in its conservation program, and, and frankly, water conservation is uh, critical for all customers um, of our utility. Um, saving water saves money, saves power, um, using it wisely, very critical resource for all of us. It, it, water is life. Because the resource is so precious, one of the things that we want to do is, is make sure that we're not wasting it. And small leaks can add up. According to the EPA, across the nation, we lose about one trillion gallons of water to leaks per year. That's enough to serve the cities of Los Angeles, Miami, and Chicago water use for a year. So we want to encourage everybody to check their faucets, check their toilets, check their shower heads, and check your irrigation systems for leaks. A leaking toilet, for example, can waste as much as 200 gallons of water per day. So obviously leaks are extremely important. And they're minor, they're something that uh, it just takes sometimes a minute to repair, which over the long run saves a, a tremendous amount of water, money, and time. I think it just highlights um, our responsibilities for uh, protecting this resource. And so you use it wisely, you don't waste it, it's a good thing for us all. Fix a Leak Week is, is relatively new. This is our second year in celebrating it. And it's a reminder to people to let them know just how important water resources are for you. You know, the Minor Plumbing Repair Program is extremely important as part of the city's overall commitment to water conservation. It's particularly gratifying, though, to help that segment of our customer base because, again, they may not have the resources to do it on their own. Let me give you an example. We have a customer that has a leak in her bathtub and it cost her about $200 a month on her water bill. She's on a fixed income. She only brings in or has $900 a month. We are gonna be so excited to be able to help her to lower that water bill, save money, and save water at the same time. So that just gives you an example of some of the, the gratifying work we're able to accomplish through the Minor Plumber Repair Program to really help folks that really, really need the help. This week, it's kind of, um... Um, all hands on deck. We have some backlog on our minor home repair and we're going to go out and just fix them all this week because it's Fix a Leak Week in Dallas, Texas and across the nation, I think. And I especially like to uh, thank our friends from the Environmental Protection Agency for choosing Dallas to kick off this national initiative. It's exciting for us. Yay! So now, therefore, I, Linda Coop, on behalf of the mayor of the city of Dallas and Tom Leppard, um, and the City Council do hereby proclaim March the 15th, 2010 through March the 21st, 2010 as Fix a Leak Week in Dallas, Texas! Yay! And now it's time to get the roundup started. Okay, we're going to start off. Uh, first of all, as a plumber myself, I can tell you every week for us is Fix a Leak Week, so we're glad you can join us. And, and, and also, our plumbers, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Well, good afternoon and welcome back to the great Dallas Fix-A-Leak Week Roundup. 
So, you know, just five short days ago, we dispatched a plumbing crew to go out and fan all across the city to fix leaks. And so how did they do? We had targeted to wipe out our backlog. We, we did that and a little bit more. We went over what we had targeted. We had targeted to wipe out, we had 100 families on our waiting list. We actually did 109 families. So we met and exceeded our expectations and of course uh, with the goal of saving water. So what, what does this all mean? You know, what did we accomplish this week? Well, if you think about the Fix the Leak Roundup, we served over 109 of our customers. And due to those efforts, we saved almost 2.3 million gallons of water. How about that? Woo! You know, I had a conversation with the EPA yesterday. They could not have been more pleased. In fact, I was go on to say that they are ecstatic about what we have been able to accomplish this week. Uh, they, along with Kohler and Lowe's, which were two of our major sponsors, uh, we could not have asked for a greater success with the Great Dallas Fix the Leak Week Roundup. On a personal note, several of my team members have shared with me this week that this program has been one of the most exciting and most fun programs and projects that they've ever been involved in. It's just been a culmination of folks working together, us availing ourselves of resources in the community to help each other. So it's, it's just been a lot of fun for us. It's been a lot of work, I can tell you truthfully, but it's been most gratifying and, and a lot of fun.